Well, shit. What are y'all doing? This, this is, is awful. awful. I'm Deontay. I'm Jordan. And today we're going to be giving you a spoiler review for Army of the Dead. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it first and then come back because this will contain spoilers. All right. So oh, this one does have spoilers. Yeah, this one. You didn't even tell me. Well, yeah. I, I mean, I'm saying it now, so we both are on the same page. So, okay. all right. So, so before we start off like we did last time, what would you on a one to ten? What would you give it? Okay, let me just preface with, I don't really care for zombie movies. So I don't think I'm the person to give it a rating. This is your personal rating. Like, what did you feel about the movie? Regardless of whether you, how did you, did you enjoy it? Did you not like it? I would give this movie somewhere between like a six and a half and a seven. Six and a half and a seven. I was going to give it an eight. I was going to give it an okay. eight, personally. All right, say why. Um, well, first of all, the action was sub was spectacular to me. The fight scenes with the zombies, uh, the one with Dave Dave Batista, uh, even the one with uh with Amari when he was fighting the alpha zombie. Uh, the fight scenes like to make zombies fight and not just be shooting targets, you know, just head targets. Uh, the fact that they made them kind of smart. I know a lot of people like aren't used to that, but like I said. This had a lot of I am legend vibes to it all the way down to like the ending plot when he had when she had the head. That was kind of like an I am legend when like there there's an there's an alternate ending that no one knows about where the the chick that he takes in the beginning, he actually cures her. And then the, the leader of the, the leader of zombie, he comes and then uh, the doctor takes some of his takes some of her blood and then he reinfects her and then he just comes and takes her and leaves and that's the end of the movie. But what we saw, he blew himself up with all the zombies and shit. But so that was like I said, they drew from that with the whole king and queen zombie shit, which I don't have a problem because I Am Legend is one of my favorite zombie movies. Um, the cast, everybody in here, well not everybody, let me take it back. I liked almost everybody in here in the almost, in, almost except for his daughter. And the pilot. The pilot was a terrible. Well, I don't know. I've never seen her in anything else. But in this movie, she sucked. The worst. Like, she's uh, running for the worst character. Like everyone else played their part well, and I enjoy uh -huh. every time they talk. Okay, well, we, we have to we have to separate between acting and characters because I'm talking about this person's acting. Like this actress sucked. Okay, that's that's a that's a good that's a that's a good distinguished right. Her acting sucked. Her acting was awful. Like if there was somebody else that played that role, the role would have been what it needed to be. Okay. So yes, that was my least favorite actress in this movie. I don't know who she is, but I didn't like her. So now as far as go ahead. As far as characters. You're saying you didn't like the daughter. I, I, Kate, I didn't like her character. I hated okay. her character. First of all, she's the reason why everybody died in the end. <laughs> if she wouldn't have went back, they would have been what on that. Because it was the same, like, the, it was going to be the same storyline, whether she went or not. No, -uh, because if she would have stayed with them, they all got on the helicopter and flew to her. They could have just flown okay. away if she was. It would have still only been them three survivors. Right, but now there's only one survivor because she got the other. Been two survivors because the other girl came with her. It would have been. So it would have been. It would have been Gita. It would have been her dad. It would have been her, and no, it would have been the pilot. Gita. They wouldn't have went back for Gita. They oh, went that's right. To that's right. Gita that's right. She was with him, so it would have only, only been the pilot and the dad. Pilot, dad, and her. So that's three. That would have been three survivors. No, she wouldn't have been there. Is what I'm saying. Only people that was in there was the pilot and the dad. And he that's told what I'm her. saying. What I'm saying is, if she wouldn't have ran off, she would have been on the helicopter, and they all would have okay. left. So, okay. So I, I didn't like that. And it, again, this self righteous. It wasn't even a good reason. Like when you do stuff like that, it has to be a reason. Like if she would have been like, I sent her in there. I gotta go get her. Like I understand that. You know what I'm saying? Like you sent her in there, and now you feel like you gotta go get her. But the right. reason it was like what? Like she sent because her. She wanted to take her for the kids. Like 
And maybe that lady didn't want her kids. She risked them kids over five thousand dollars. That should tell her some. She didn't really want them kids. She was Fuck them kids. She was fed up. Like, oh, like, not only that, she had, she was gonna get fifteen million dollars. She could have right. bought them kids. Now she only got scraps, and now she got to struggle with those kids. Well, you could have. Yeah, she could have sold them kids to some oh, people who really wanted them. I would have took that. I would have took that fifteen million. Who? Who kids? <laughs> what? What camp you talking about? <laughs> oh no, none of y'all. All right, so uh, let's talk about the plot since we're already there. What do you think okay. about the plot? What do you think about the whole the plot of the movie? Okay, so for me personally, I like that they got straight to the point. I feel like some movies that are supposed to be like suspenseful or whatever, they they lose me. I'd be confused. This movie did exactly what it needed to do. It gave us the past in the beginning, in the first five minutes. It gave us the present. It gave us the the objective, and then they went in there. Right. I appreciated that. That was, it wasn't confusing. It wasn't this you know this hard. It wasn't to like understand. back and forth. Yeah, it wasn't none of that. What I did it. I there's a couple of th- I mean a couple of things I didn't like. First of all, it had this you know that same. Uh, it had the the somebody's gonna portray some somebody's gonna betray somebody uh theme like you you just yeah. knew somebody was up to no good right and it was yeah. it was even more obvious the fact that the henchman guy or whatever was going with them so it's like oh yeah he's definitely up to no good like you couldn't right. have you couldn't have concealed that better yeah I, it, was it was okay it was pretty predictive yeah it for was the like, most part which like i said that's something that i appreciate because i usually be getting lost in these kind of movies so I was okay with it being predictive, but I understand why for people who are like interested in like who have watched a lot of these movies before would want something different. Who was your favorite character? <laughs> oh, no, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Go ahead and say it. Go ahead and say it. They got it. The people got to know. Let me think about it for a minute. Who was my favorite character? I really liked the dad. They gave him a little bit. Why? Right? <laughs> because you know you you know what you want to say and you try to b- pussyfoot around it. You uh, you gonna say that? Okay, but you can't tell me Vanderhoe wasn't a cool ass nigga though. No, he was. I I he was cool. I I give you that. But that ain't why he your favorite character. No 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 no. Besides all of that, he would still be besides, my favorite besides, character. Besides all of what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Besides the look. He would still be my favorite character in the movie because he was just cool as hell. Like he was giving orders, he was telling them what to do. No, he, I did. I, I did know. like his character. I liked it. I liked it. The 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 common the uh, safe guy, Petrick, whatever his name is, whatever his name was. I liked him. He may have been the, my my Petrick. Yeah, Dietrich. yeah. Yeah, he may have been. But they my, came together, right? They were a team. That's what I was just about mm-hmm. to say. Did did Vanderho bring him on? Yeah. No. Because no, they knew no, each Van, other. No, Vanderho. No, Vanderho didn't bring him on. I thought they knew each other the way that they was like talking in the movie. No, remember whenever, uh, whenever, because you know, uh, the the dad and old girl went to go recruit him, and then when he when they were like huddling up, and remember Vanderhoe was like, "Who the fuck is this dude? He ain't going with oh, us." Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't like that. He didn't like that nigga at first. He was on his ass. See, he was calling shots. He was a boss. That's why I like him. First of all, he was not a boss. He was second in command. He was not a boss, first of all. The first thing command was unstable, okay? No, he, he wasn't. Had he, had everything, he had everything under control. It was his daughter he couldn't control. He had to kill his baby's mama. He didn't have a good relationship with his daughter. He he was just up in the air. And then his girlfriend. Oh, my goodness. His, oh, my God. That's why he was like, it was a J.K. Rowling moment, because she just said... I'm going to go in there with you or I'm down for you or whatever the fuck she said. And as soon as he finally was like, okay with it, they just snapped her neck. And then her, 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 her spine popped out of her. What? Like that shit makes it so like, that's the type of shit I want to see. Like that's the type of shit I want to see. I will say like, I had a feeling that uh, the dad wasn't going to make it out. But it still shocked me at the end. That that last fight was really good. Oh, oh, the 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 helicopter of scene. Him yeah. and the zombie on the helicopter. Yeah. Yeah, I like. I, I, again, the whole the movie, you know, as a whole, I, I like Coyote's uh character as well. 
Um, I wonder who else she took in there and just fucked up and didn't. That I mean, who else she sacrificed? That's a good question. Probably more people because she had some. That's what she well, was. Well, she talking. had to. Yeah. That was the that was the whole point because she knew the different. She knew the dynamic there, like that she had to sacrifice someone to the alpha zombies. Right. So every time they went in there, I wonder if there was like a. a monetary limit too because them other women were going in there just for five thousand dollars like i would have been like nah we're not going in there for that shit if i gotta sacrifice somebody every time it, there should be like at, you should be going for at least a million i mean they were just going for slot machines they didn't have a lot they probably did have a system too because she was like you think this is their prison this is their kingdom oh i right. love that tiger Ooh, that zombie tiger. Ooh, see, that's something. See, that's an Where the hell did he get a tiger from? You remember Where, he, why is there even a tiger in Vegas? Well, she said it's from uh uh I forgot the magician's name, but they were magicians. You know, they do the they do. She was one of Siegfried and Roy's. She guards the big. So I like the color. This movie is very colorful. It gives me Suicide Squad vibes. I'm not sure if you've seen Suicide Squad, but it gives me Suicide Squad vibes with this whole, you know. It was colorful. Even when he shot old boy in the head at the end, didn't like blue shit shoot out of his head and shit. Yeah, it did. It, yeah. Was, it looked like electricity or something. Yeah, like you know, the ending. Did you like the ending? I did. Yeah. Um, I feel like it was like a kind of a full circle thing. Like she had to watch her mom die, and there oh, was my bad. probably like my bad. Some... not that ending. The ending oh. ended with Amari, with Amari Hardwick. No. No, me either. Me that either. That was awful. Me either. That was extremely <laughs> that was garbage. Awful. I hated it. Like he. How did he, how did he even make it that far? Because okay, if you watch the part with the dad when he got bit, from the time he got bit to the time he turned into a zombie, that was only like a matter of maybe ten minutes in movie time, right? Right. Like, but I think I think him like him dying wasn't from just a bite alone. I think the plane crash was yeah but you could see him turning too before he died like his he started getting those blue veins or whatever and that's why she shot him what what yeah that was as he was turning into like like as he was waking back up that's when those veins started coming it wasn't right, when but he was already turning into a zombie is what yeah, i'm saying after he died but he died he succumbed to the plane crash injuries <laughs> and then as since he got bit he came back as a zombie so you have you have to die first. I didn't know that yes, part. Yes, you have to die first. See, I don't watch zombie movies, so I don't know the like everybody. Statistics behind. Yeah, like you have to die first, and then you come back as a zombie. Most zombie movies, if you get bit and when you die, you well the bite kills you. It may kill you slowly if you don't get bit in a major you know in your neck or some shit like that you just get bit in your leg whatever is whatever is turning them zombie is like a poison so it'll slowly kill you which is why he was like falling down and shit and so it yeah. he would eventually die because of his bite but it didn't kill him yet that wasn't my the problem the problem is how did he make it that far and not know he was bit like that nah, it's he did and he was just trying to get out of there I don't no he, know. he didn't know because he looked at his arm and he was like oh shit he didn't know Cause that's why he went to the bathroom. He looked at his arm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I guess the whole thing is about to repeat itself because that's exactly what happened when the first one came to Vegas. And now they're about to go to where? Mexico? Is that what they said? Or New Mexico? Yep. Setting them up for number two, which I'll be down for. I don't know who they're going to get because everybody's dead. So I don't know. Maybe they find Welcome someone. Seven people. Oh, just yeah. Omari, Omari Harwick. I'll come back for that. All right. Well, we've come to the end of this. We've come to the end of this review. Army of the Dead. He's gonna die. We Army, already know he's gonna die. Army of the Dead by Zack Snyder on Netflix. <laughs> Go watch it. It. Is, I enjoyed it. She enjoyed it. Um, and for some different reasons, apparently. Obviously. Um, so we'll see you in the next review. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and enjoy your day.